All right, so today's word problems, these are the last word problems that we're going to do. These problems have to do with half-life, and it's the amount of time it takes for one half of a sample of radioactive atoms to decay. So if something has a half-life of eight days, it takes it half, it takes it eight days to get half of what it started out to be. So it's the half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of the substance to decay, which if something decays, it disappears. So these are always going to be like exponential decay problems, okay? Exponential. So um, half-life is exponential decay, okay? Kind of like when you're talking about um, compounded and those kind of continuously, they're always exponential growth, okay? So if, if you've ever heard of plutonium, it's the stuff we use in our nuclear things, weapons, sub, submarines, etc. Plutonium-239 has a half-life of 24,110 years. So that's, that's a pretty big half-life, so it takes it that long to go away. That's why we don't want to have these nuclear things because their half-life is not really that small. So half-life means that if you have 100 pounds of plutonium, 239, in 24,110 years, you'd still have 50 pounds left. In another 24,110 years, you'd have 25 pounds left. This stuff just won't go away. This is why it's such a big concern when a nuclear sub submarine sinks. Eventually, the salt water will eat through the steel and release the plutonium, which, as we know, is quite lethal. They usually talk about either trying to raise the submarine or encase it in a concrete where, where it rests. The last figure I heard was that there are currently eight nuclear subs on our ocean floor. Now, now that I've completely depressed you, Let's get back to the math. So, here are a couple of questions. So, if by chance you have 400 milligrams of radioisotope with a half-life of five minutes, how much would be left after 30 minutes? Well, let's just sort of think about what the equation would look like. So when you start, you have 400, okay? So if I wanted to compare this to an exponential decay problem, there's my exponential decay equation, right? So we start with 400. So 400 could go here. And then our rate, if we're talking about half as much, well, 100% is the whole thing. If we want half as much, our percent is going to be 0.5, okay? Now, we want to find how much we're going to have in 30 minutes, okay? So the half-life is 5 minutes. So every hour, we're not, or every minute, we're not taking half of it every single minute. We're doing it every 5 minutes. So it's similar to that like something doubling like every five hours. So what we would have to do in this case is whatever the half-life is, it's the time divided by the half-life because that's how many times it's going to have. Now when we go to write the rest of it, this is going to be 400, that if it's half-life, anytime we see the word half-life, we're going to have a half there okay? because things are getting smaller. So if we want to know how much is left in 30 minutes, it's going to be 30 divided by 5, okay? So that's how many times we are going to take 400 and divide it by 2, okay? Because multiplying by half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So we're going to raise that to a power, and it's actually going to come out to be to the 6th power. So what we're going to put into the calculator exactly now, when I'm asking you to put write down what you put in the calculator, that's what I'm saying. I want to see that. Because on the quiz, last quiz, I couldn't see a lot of it, so I couldn't give you any partial credit. So in 30 minutes, we're going to have 6.25, and we got to make sure we put what it is. So it's 6.25 milligrams. So the half-life formula that we're going to be using every single time 
so that you don't always have to think through the um, exponential decay, is that's going to be one half, and then it's going to be time divided by the half life. Right? That's the equation. I would definitely write that down. <clears throat> and this is another way of writing it, which I wanted you to kind of be careful, I mean, uh, be familiar, because you know how I usually use the piece of T and the piece of O? These are exactly the same thing. The final amount, the initial amount, okay? So that is the equation written out. This is exactly the one that we just did. So kind of follow through that. And then we're going to do another one. And I would definitely pause the video and make sure that you get the correct answer. And you can put it in the calculator correctly. Okay? So these are the, oh, I don't want to do that one yet. So this is the question. It says a radio, a, a radio, radio isotope, let's try to say this wrong, has a half life of one hour. If you begin with 100 grams, sample of the element at noon, how much remains at 3 p.m.? Okay, so the half-life of this one is one hour, which is really not bad at all. It's kind of an easier one to start with. So when you start, the initial amount is 100. So 100 goes in that initial amount. I always have the one half because it's half-life. And then from noon to three is three hours. And if the half-life is one hour, it's just going to be over 1. So you're going to put that in your calculator, 100. And then you're going to raise it to the third power. And so I get 12.5, and it's 12.5 grams. So we need to make sure that we put the grams after it. Okay? Now, a lot of these you can do in your head right now. Because you're going to do 100. If we divided that by half, that would be 50. That would be my first time. If I did it again, I'd get 25. Then if I did it again, I'd get 12.5. Okay? So some of these, I realize you do not have to use your formula. But I do want to see it. I want you to kind of get used to it. Okay? So this is a good example of one that you couldn't do in your head. So suppose you have 100 milli milligram sample of AU191, which has a half-life of 3.4 hours. How much will remain after 10.2 hours? Now, for this one, you can tell the numbers aren't going to come out very well because they're not whole numbers. But we're still going to do it the same way. So you have 100. That's what you start with. And then you're going to multiply that by 1 half. The time that you're talking about is 10.2 and the half-life is 3.4. So you're going to do 100.5 to the, and you're going to, I have to put this in parentheses, so you're going to do 10.2 divided by 3.4. And so this one also comes out as 12.5, and you're going to have 12.5, and in this case it is milligrams. All right, look at this one. It says, you discover a new radio, radioactive isotope and name it that. Don't ask. Its half-life is 1.3 hours. If you start with a sample of 45 grams, how much will be left after 6.7 years? Okay, so you start. Your starting amount is 45. We always have the one half because it says half-life. That is our, that is our, our keyword is half-life. And then our time... How much will we have in 6.7 years? It's going to be 6.7 divided by 1.23. So we're going to do 45.5 raised to the 6.7 divided by 1.23. So in this one, and when you're doing questions, always round them to the nearest tenth. So I got 1.03146786. If I round that to the nearest tenth, it's actually going to round to one. And we started with 45 grams. We're going to end with one gram. Now, in order to see if this um, <coughs> if this works, like you can put it like 
back into the equation. Make sure. Okay, try this one. And so on this one, we start with 1,000. I'm going to make this a little smaller because it looks really, looks really big. I can't really see the rest of the question. So we start with 1,000. So you put 1,000 here. It's going to be one half, and it says cobalt is radioactive isotope used in cancer treatment. It has a half-life of five years. If a hospital starts with 1,000 milligrams supply, how many milligrams will need to be purchased after 10 years to replenish the original supply? So we're going to do 10 divided by 5 because 5 is the half-life. So we're going to do 1,000 times 0.5. And then 10 divided by 5 is just 2, so we're going to raise it to the second power. So in this one we get 250, and then make sure you put milligrams. 250 milligrams. Okay, these are just some like medicines, just in case, like, you know, you want to be like a nurse, like my daughter's being a nurse. Now, let's do some little things, just, just so you know. These are the half-lifes. Okay. That's how long it takes it to be half of what it already is.